I'm recording a very boring video <clears throat> for my friend Forrest. If your friend, if your name isn't Forrest McDaniel, you will probably find this video very, very dull and uninteresting. You should probably just stop watching right here. I won't take it personally if the watch time on this thing plummets because your name isn't Forrest McDaniel and you would be terribly uninterested in this very boring material. Promise. So, without further ado, here's some very boring material. <clears throat> I have this query. All right, and I declare a couple variables and I set each variable equal to something. Let's say I'm going to do some stuff with them later. If I run this query with the query plans turned on and I look at the query plan for it, I have one seek into the comments table because I'm a top lad and I created an index that my query could seek into. And I have one stream aggregate where both of these expressions are calculated. Actually, there are three things that calculated there, but uh, so because, <laughs> you know, uh, but I don't know why there are three off, off the top of my head. But there, but the the two that I calculated are in there. I promise they're they're both there. So what I want to do is put that in a function. And when I put that into a function, like I'm going to call that comment score for some reason. I don't know why. <coughs> I'll put that into a function. And inside the function, I'm going to uh, declare those things. Uh, set them. You know, declare my uh, my internal variable. Set them equal to stuff. And then I'm going to return uh, the comment count times the comment score. Good stuff. So uh, the first thing that I need to show you is that in compatibility level 140, uh, if I run these queries, uh, they're going to run pretty quickly. Because even though that's a scalar valued function, it's not running over a ton of rows. It's not doing a ton of work. And I have proper indexes in place for my function. When we look at the query plan, like we know about scalar valued functions, it's not going to tell us what the function did. It's going to completely lie to us. If you're if you're like like creeped out by this, then you should just go watch my, my plan cache liars videos. Anyway, moving right along, if I run this and we get the estimated plan and we see what the function is doing, the function is doing exactly what the query did. We have one seek, we have one stream aggregate. Even for the larger query that uh, that hits more rows, we have one seek and one stream aggregate. The difference between these two is this is just where one user, I'm just getting that for one user and the, down here I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the comment score for every user with a reputation over 100,000. Where things start to get weird is in compat level 150 when we turn on scalar UDF inlining. Now, what I'm going to do is run both of these and show you the query plans. Now, remember, in the old version, we had one seek into the comments table to calculate both of those, uh, both of those um, variable assignments. With UDF inlining turned on, I now have two seeks into the comments table, and that's true for both of these queries. For the top query, it's probably less of a big deal. It finishes, still finishes relatively quickly. It's about twice as slow as about 10 milliseconds before. Not the end of the world, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's noticeable there. It's even more noticeable in this query, where before when it took about a second, now we're looking at it taking about a second and a half because each one of these branches with this stream aggregate is materialized. So this top branch takes 475 and this bottom branch takes 7,726 milliseconds. So uh, about a half a second, a little bit closer to a second. And you can see the final tally on this plan is about a second and a half. The first one was, should have been around a second or so. This gets even crappier <laughs> if we drop the index that I created on comments. I'm just going to get the estimated plan here because uh, I don't want this I don't want this video to drag on forever and ever. But if we look at the estimated plan now, and we see that we are indeed missing that index that I had created earlier. Um, oh, you know what? It doesn't show up. <laughs> my well, that's my fault. It doesn't show up in the estimated plan. It only shows up in the actual plan. So what I got to do now is. Uh, Run this, and let's go over here. Let's do me who is active at get plan equals one. Run that, and look at the execution plan, and we will see that SQL Server has chosen to do two index spools, uh, one for each branch in there. Now I know that I could get around this by doing the math from the function all in one go. Like I could just, you know, up here I could just say set total comment score equals count big times sum. I know, I get it. But 
I think this is kind of a missed opportunity to fold some expressions in and do everything all in one go. Because if you, if you have a bunch of these, they're all going to kind of add up. And I see a lot of scalar value functions that do a lot of variable assignment like this. If it's not all in one line, then you're looking at having to rewrite the function to prevent all of those branches from expanding. Anyway, I'm going to go get brunch now, or take a shower and then go get brunch. I'm still sort of in my PJs. But uh, yeah, um, again, totally boring stuff. If your name isn't Forrest McDaniel, you're probably going to not enjoy a si single second of that. Totally uninteresting. Um, but thank you for not watching. And I will <clears throat> not see you in the next video because you didn't see this because your name isn't Forrest. Isn't that funny? Isn't it funny how that works out? You listened to me, didn't you? You, 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 you listened to me for once. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sweetie.